Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. In today's video, I'm be predicting the Garn versus Tua Vasa fight. If you are new around here though and you haven't yet subscribed, to please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Garn is 10 and 1 with 4 KOs and 3 submissions, and Tui Vasa is 15 and 3 with 14 KOs and no submissions. Garn's last fight was a loss by unanimous decision versus Nganu. Tuvasa's last fight was a win via KO in round 2 versus Lewis. Uh, Garn's last win was a KO in round 3 versus Lewis. Tuvasa's last loss, well, losses have come against Dos Santos, Ivanov, and Spivak in 2018 to 2019. It was a run of 3 defeats back to back to back. Uh, um, but since then, he's been on a 5 win streak where that Derek Lewis fight definitely put him more on the map. Uh, and <clears throat> I mean if you've seen he's got the entertainment factor as well doing like shoeys and stuff like that after the fight it's entertaining but that's not going to get him to win well no I'm just joking um, Tuivas is 29 and Garn is 32 uh, they are both competitive strikers as shown by the fact of especially Tuivasa like to get 14 out of 15 knockouts especially in MMA is mental and, I mean, he's not got any submissions, so that shows that he's definitely more focused on the knockout side of things. And I think because he is the smaller but kind of wider guy, it's harder for him to get the knockout, uh, to get the uh, submissions because it's just uh, not as natural for... It's more natural for somebody for seemingly longer uh, to get submissions because... Or a bit skinnier to get submissions. Not saying two vs is fat, but like, I'm just saying he's... Got he holds more weight than like certain fighters do, and that's why he's at that weight. Even though he's going to be the smaller guy against pretty much most fighters, he'll fight. Um, so yeah, it's unlikely that you'll see many uh, submissions, if any, from him um, in his probably career. To be honest, but um, yeah, Garn. I mean, Garn's a taller guy, so it makes sense why he's had the more submissions. I don't know if I'm just waffling there, but I think that somewhat makes sense. Um, also on the card is Whitaker versus Vittori. Uh, a good middleweight matchup where both of them are possibly fighting for another one number one contender. I don't know, like that division's a bit like I don't know at the moment. It seems like that because Adesanya's lapped everybody. If he beats Pereira, then you don't really know what to do because, like, I mean, unless somebody else comes in up into division, uh, the division, because we've got Whitaker, Vittori, Cannonier, Strickland, Pereira. And and Gaslam and uh, oh, what's his name? He's just beat Luke Rockhold. Oh, I forgot his name. Is it Gaslam? It might be. I don't know. But you know what I'm on about. There's there's a lot of people that's he's fought. I'm not saying I don't think he's fought Rockhold or Strickland, but I don't think they deserve title fights. I mean, they're both coming off losses at the moment. But um, so it means if he beats Pereira, I mean, they might rematch it. But what else is there really to do? Um, so this is this is why this fight, I mean, it's an entertaining fight because they're going to fight each other, but I don't really know what this means for the actual grand scheme of the division because they both lost to uh, Adesanya. But anyway, I'm going to go back to my prediction and not stop and stop ranting. Um, in, I think that fight will end in a Whitaker win by unanimous decision. I think it'll be close, but in the end, I, I believe Whitaker will end up winning because I believe he is the better fighter out of the two of them. Um, I might... Wrong in saying Vittori. No, 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 I'm, I'm swapping. Okay. Um, going back to the Garn fight. Garn is the favourite, and I think that Tui Vassa will win via KO in round two. Um, I believe, I think he'll just catch him lacking, you know. I think Garn's going in there off a defeat, and it's his first ever defeat, so you don't really know how he's going to react to that. Obviously, it's against the number one guy in the division, but... Still, you don't know how he's going to react to that. He might have knocked his confidence a bit. And he's not gotten... I don't think he looked overly great in that fight versus Ngannou. Um, and I think two of us has got the hype train behind him. He's got everybody behind him. And I think he'll land that one big blow that will get Garn out of there. And and then I think he'll go on to fight Ngannou for the belt. When Ngannou's back and he's fit and he's fighting again, I think he'll go on to fight for that belt. Um, and that'll be a great fight, I think. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's prediction. I know it ended up me ranting a bit, but uh, sorry about that. Uh, if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video. And thanks for watching.